Welcome to the podcast. Well, the podcast. hello, podcast. Hey, podcasters. Hey. How do you think Hi. the podcast would talk if it, if it could respond? Hi, bitch. <laughs> it's really deep. Yeah. 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 Real deep. Real, real, real beastie. It's like, yeah. yeet, yeet, bitch. Yeet. What yeet. does yeet yeah. mean again? Does that mean get out of here? Yeah, like I'm Scram. out. I'm yeet. yeet. Out. I'm gone. Okay, Ricky's yeeting off. I'm yeeting. I'm yeeting out of here. You're yeah. eating then yeeting or yeeting and then eating? I'll be eating. And then yeeting. Then yeeting. I'll, no, I'll yeet, then I'll eat, and then I'll arrive, and then I'll eat. And then you'll shit. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's a circle of life. No, can I ask on on the show tomorrow? Are yeah. we allowed to mention where you are? I have to find out. It feels like you're not no, because, liking us mentioning it. No, I mentioned I camels yesterday. No, because I'm not sure if it's a surprise. <laughs> Is it a the, corporate for a big oil company or something? It's 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 the the the, the company that I'm doing the show for. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if the guests right. that are going to be there know that I'm going to do it. Right. So I don't I know if I can talk about it. Okay. But okay. I'll, I'll find out tonight and I'll let you know. But, like, here's a clue. You're performing near Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't climb him. No way. Who as much to? as you want to, you can't do it. I know. No, no but... he's delicious. <laughs> he's delicious. And then I'm like, what's the weather going to be like? What do I wear? You know, when I was there last time, I had crocodile sashimi. What? I don't yeah. mind a bit of crocodile. It's very chickeny. It was very tough. Was I don't overcooked. think I've ever had crocodile. Well, treat yourself. On treat your yourself trip. if you're going anywhere near crocs, that is. Do I need to wrestle it before I can get crocs? sashimi? No, thanks. Good oh new pet. No, thank you. I've still got my bright green. Yeah, I love those. <laughs> if, you could get a pe- if you could get a crocodile in a pair of crocs, that would go off on socials. Right? Yeah, it would go off on socials. That'd be good for your socials. Definitely good for your engagement. Definitely good for my engagement. It's right yeah. up. Like my audience, they're really into re- me, re- into Ricky wrestling channel. Crocs in Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the podcast and we'll see you when you're back. <laughs> Miss you. This is Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. It's Ricky Lee, it's Tim Blackwell, it's Joel Creasy, it's the gang. Yo, yo. Yes, guilty as charged. Today I feel uh, Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Tim and Joel, the best I love. I think this could be the best show ever. This is the best day of my whole life. Hanging out with friends. Wow. We're the up and about party show. Turn it up, Tim. Oh, yeah. Uh, here we go. July's still on the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Tuesday afternoon, dudes. Hi, Tuesday. Hi, Hang Tim. On. Hi, Joel. Hi, Tim. Hi, Ricky. 30 days has September, April, June and November, all the rest of 31. Okay, so we've got one more, one day. more day of July. Right. And then it's August. Can you believe it's almost August? It's almost wow. August. Not already August. Um, as per your Time socials. I misspoke on my socials yesterday. And I get pe- it. Don't people love to pull you up? People on socials are so kind. They're so kind. They're so awesome. And also, so I'm supportive. disappointed in you. I taught you how to l- to do the knuckles thing with the months, remember? Yeah, but that was That's how a, I was taught you, you growing up. You look like a child, though, doing that, trying to figure out what the months are. Okay, Can no, I use I my hand for yes, meat? Yes, you do. If you pull out, it's like pulling out your left and January, right hand. February, you know the, March, the L sign on April, the left. May, yeah, I still June, have to do that. July thirty-one. Yeah, if you're trying to do that, like at a restaurant in conversation, you look like a four-year-old. Oh, yeah, and I do that for steak. I, have at restaurants. <laughs> yeah. I do that for steak. Isn't that like medium rare? That's like well done. That part of your hand. Oh yeah, when you cook rare. it. I have heard that yeah. before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So sorry, my hands are for steak only, not dates. Okay. okay. Steak, not dates. You Unless know what I'm I, making my chocky dip dates, of course. It's like Which rice. we still haven't tried. See, I find that I've, I can cook a perfect steak without yeah. using a, a timer. Yeah. And rice is the same on the stove. I Just can't like one cook of those rice. weird things. Like, you know how Me when you're good job. at something, it doesn't matter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, but I thought you would have a fancy rice. That does rice matter. Cooker. Steaks are expensive, you know, uh, cut of meat. I have a tiger sushi rice cooker from of Japan. You do. Which is like one of my favourite things. Even it's my rice humongous. cooker still it still sticks to my rice cooker. I cannot get rice right. So I use those little packet ones that go in the microwave. Oh my gosh, Joel. <laughs> They're great. I tried to give microwave rice to my Japanese friend and the eye roll, the side eye was hectic. Okay. She wasn't having it at all. Oh yeah. It's like when I played Waka Waka Africa by Shakira in Africa <laughs> and they hated it. I'm very disappointed with how we've started. Months and rice. It's not us. Okay. It doesn't feel like us. Let's no, get edgy after like this. Yeah, please. Can okay. we? Okay. All right. Let's dump. I'll dump. I'll like, say something so definitely. wrong. Like, how many days of July have and how do you cook rice? Like, oh, I'm, I'm sickened by us. <laughs> well, I'm going to start knitting in the break. No, no, yeah. stop it. <laughs> We're just catering to the 42 year olds. Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel yes. on Nova. I'm loving watching the kids get into Slim Shady or not get into Slim yeah. Shady. 
Yeah. That's you took a bit fun. of a pause after the kids, and I was like, oh, why is this cool? Yeah. I'm loving yeah, watching in. the kids. Hey, okay. well, not that edgy. We said before, edgy. <laughs> not that edgy. Okay. I love that song. That's my song of the moment. Might be my song of the year. You know how I always do a song of the year, which I never do. Isn't your song um, of the year, though, supposed to be one that you really, like, know all the words to and that you, like, um, do you... I okay, I know hear... Joel Jarvin happens around, you know, at 5.50, but... Yeah. Um, Abra, Abra, Cadabra. Yes, Joel! That was you, beautiful. You Have look you been working at me on your in vocals? the background. Maybe, maybe I've got something coming up. Oh my goodness! Like Joel Jivin. Um <laughs> What's your song of the year so far? Mm, Question without notice. I would say "Birds of on a Feather." Or was that last year? Or um, I can do it with a broken heart, Taylor Swift. So it's yes. either Billy or Taylor. Well, this is mine. Still. Not wild. How, we've got to find a way to ruin it for him. Yell at me to listen to that song. Yeah, but just as far as pop song of the year, you know, big big hit of the year. You yeah. know, not album track that I'm listening to him like hard crying. I also love um <laughs> Ariana Grande's Um We Can't Be Friends. Oh, yeah. But I'd like to just breathe. We should do like hits of the year every July thirty. <laughs> okay, mark that down. Yeah, somebody. Going downhill again. Anybody. What are we doing? Yeah. Because Why are we just, old ladies no, because we're, today? Because we're chatting. We're chatting Tatum. Chatting Tatum. I actually found yeah. out, I didn't realise that chatting Tatum was with Zoe Kravitz. I had no idea. Oh, that's a hot couple. That's a hot no, because he used to date the person that was in that dance movie Jenna with Duan, him. Jenna yes. And they got married. Excuse me? Yes. Jenna, Jenna Duan. Duan. Jenna Duan. She hasn't no, gone no. on to Duan? heaps, Duan, 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 Duan. What were those dance movies Duan. called? Duan. Oh, step up. step up. Is that what oh, it was? Yeah, Step Up. Where he and was real, step up one, and two, he did three, like Pony four. and, or she did Pony, I can't remember. Okay. I don't, actually don't even think I watched it. Step Up. <laughs> <laughs> but I watched Honey. I love that movie. You just Honey's Alba. a great movie. And uh, Say the Last Dance. Oh my gosh! Oh yeah, yeah. dance movies are a real thing. You would yeah. love La La them. Land. Remember that awful TV show idea where they sent people to where Dirty Dancing was filmed to learn the oh Dirty Dancing? Oh, my God. Dancing? Yes, Dance? Anne Edmonds like, did it, and she said it was, was the worst about? experience of her life. She who, hated who it. Who has that idea in a meeting and then someone actually makes it? I know. That's someone's actual I think actual Jamie Jury and Hugh Sheridan went, or it was a weird cast. God, that's two days in a row we've talked about Jamie Jury, by the way. Okay. I, he did is you now cancelled for the yesterday? rest of the week. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Oh, okay. You're not mincing your words, are you, Tim ah! Blackwell? Next, we'll be back to regular programming. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joe. I want to tell you about this beast. A beast. Okay. Taking it so far, Ricky. <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Heard of it. On Nova. How good is that? It's Dance With Me. Tones and I, her new album comes out Friday. And we have invites to her in Nova's Red Room with Smallsy tonight. So good. Yes, dance with me. Such okay. a good song. And I was just saying in the break that in the break during the song that the the music video for the song is so good. Like I haven't seen a proper big like club pop yeah. music oh, video got in money. ages. Because they're really expensive to Very make. Very expensive, yes. <laughs> yeah, really are you talking from experience? Yes, or? yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, the, you know, proper, like, they've got proper cameras. They've got hundreds of people in there. The lighting's amazing. It's, just, it. it's a really it good video. I also like it. Exciting. I like nowadays, it feels like the last year or two, that the song comes out, the video comes out the same day. Yeah. As opposed to people wait, like, four months and then put the video out. Well, that was the way it used to be. Like, you used to, it was, like, part of the rollout plan. Yeah. They were, like, marketing little little things that And now, could you imagine liking a song for four months anymore? I know. Not how great. <laughs> no, they I want do. everything I right now. That. I know, I know. But, but it's you know, funny. I only know, I can, I, like, I can only ever have, like, three songs in my head at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, Define yeah. Gravity. Define oh, Gravity. Yeah, yeah two of them are already, amazing? like, music theatre. It's oh, so good. Yeah. Well, she's, there's two of them, Tones and I. So Tones she, and she's I. got assistance. Now, Ollie G's, I um, made Robbie uh, Tech a little bit nervous today because I asked him to put the TV fader on my desk here. Yeah. He goes, What do you want that for? And I go, It's just so I can roll out the Ollie G's live. <laughs> and you should have seen his face <laughs> fall out his ass in the, in oh the my lid. Oh, gosh. Because he's a very. <laughs> He's a, I, I forget how not conservative all of us are yeah, in the, in the way that we speak, and sometimes some of the things we say really shock people. I know. Yeah. Like, I know just the how rules. we just talk. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry. But it's another sport. I'm taking you to China now. Okay. Because oh. I want to know. I want to know on 13, 20, 14, Is your kid a beast? Oh. <laughs> is your kid a beast? A beast. Like just, <laughs> just like, you know, a beast of a kid. Yeah. Ricky and I, us parents, we'll have a look to it. Well, my best friends, their little little baby Yumi, she is an absolute beast. She has is she? she has her she dad's body. It. He's a big 
Puerto Rican man with the most muscles in his back that anyone's ever seen. Oh, yes, and I have she, met him. She's like this little kid that looks like she's been doing chin ups all day. She's yeah. shredded. <laughs> she's got abs and laps and like the craziest back muscles you've ever seen. Well, meet Chang Zhu. Okay, Chang yep. Zhu is a seven foot three. Okay, think about seven foot what? three. What? Seven foot three is huge. Seventeen year old. Seventeen. And wait for this. She is playing oh in the oh FIBA oh under eighteens Women's Asia Cup in China. <laughs> Holy <laughs> hell! Amazing. No, oh, and I bet, I bet you there's lots no. of people like speculating that like, oh, she's not really that age. Blah blah blah. Like she's probably was teased no. a lot at school for oh, being 100%. tall. I, so I'm hope she's getting her like her comeuppance now. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I was. Uh, my friends make fun of me all the time because I'm quite a tall girl. I'm six foot. That's not that. What? You know. You I'm not seven foot three, but I've been this tall since I was in primary school. Right. And, and my friends always make fun of me that I was the teacher when I was in primary school. So when I was playing school netball, that was basically what it was like. That's, that's, <laughs> that's us against China here in the in this uh, oh, Australia under 18s women's Australia. I think we won, didn't we? We won this How game. do you win against How her? How do you beat her? Because we're Australian. She, she, play, she could play on her own. We're Australia. Oh my lord! Yeah, imagine, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. She's seven foot three. Imagine if I stood next to her, I'd be up to her Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, I'm the. Th- I think I'm the tallest of the group. Then Ricky. You are. And then, and then little our little friend Tim. Tim. Little bubba. A little cutie. You little are a boy. beast. Our son. Oh yeah, I'm You're... a real beast at six foot two. I'm a real I'm not, beast. I'm, I'm not. I must be. I'm six foot one. I'm pretty sure. No, I'm you are. Not. Not. <laughs> I think I am. Oh Boy. I five think foot I actually, seven at best. I'm not yeah. five seven. Eight. On a good day, you when you're wearing like a cork wedge or something. Yeah, when you got your big boots on. I'm five nine. When you got your stilettos with on. With your boots well, on. Well, imagine yeah. me doing it. Surely we can do that. Yeah, I'm not, surely I'm we not can. five seven. You're five Take seven. Take that back just because yeah. you're top knot. Five seven on a good day, like when you've buffed your hair up. Yeah, when you got when you've fluffed yourself up a little bit. Okay, yeah. I, I was talking about a seven foot Chinese kid. Okay, yeah, jealous we know. of her. Yeah, you wish. This is over. <laughs> oh, I'm going to start knitting in the break. Oh, no, yeah. stop it. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel, driving you home on Nova. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir, ladies and gentlemen? Ricky, I've told you, you're barking up the wrong tree. Damn. I feel like one day you'll you'll give in to me. We have been very intimate on the floor, but that's normally when we're watching your clips of Dancing with the Stars. You get all hot and heavy oh, under the right. collar when we watch a Paso Doble. That was meant I to be know. a party too, by the way. <laughs> I know. And you were the big spoon. Well, there weren't enough oh, seats. please. You had other people to talk to. You were talking to your cool DJ friends about decks and mixing. And yeah, you were talking to Pete and Duck about the Bunnings rave. <laughs> yeah, all right, sure. Um, what are you talking about? Because this is Ollie G's related, but then I realised this, this is, is also G's. Bulge related. Well, of course. Oh. I do the good work of the people. Call me a hero. I get it. I do the deep diving the and the researching for the people so you don't have to. And I bring you wonderful stories like this. French diver Jules Boyer, who is 22 years old, is going viral at the Oli G. Oh, no. Is this the one I saw? For his beautiful bulge. Oh, right. Oh, <laughs> yes. I have seen this one too. Did he just win and get, get what excited? Mean <laughs> Very excited. No, there was another one that he he dived and he literally um, belly flopped into the water. I felt very oh, sorry for him. Oh, maybe it was sore. Oh, maybe well, he doesn't do Look, I don't, I don't care about the. I don't, <laughs> yeah, that photo. Yeah, I don't care about you know what happened previous to the photo. I'm just bringing you the photo. Okay, okay, all right. Good on you. Signed up to be like a, a physio or something for the swimmers. <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel. Somebody stop it. On Nova. I mean, I mentioned the Tones and I Red Room a second ago. You can win invites with Smallsy tonight. He's back. Oh, he's but back, back, back. we have Angus and Julia Stone. Red Room invites in Joel Diamond today. Flight to the Com potential. Wow. Studio ends. album Cape Forestier is out now as well. That's your song. Little it's Birds of a Feather. Not, I think it might be my favourite of the year. There you go. I also like Ya Ya Beyonce. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a very good song. Who's that? Oh, yeah. Beyonce. You know? I oh, yeah. heard of her. And she did a whole big thing oh, with that song in the, the US the Olympic Harris theme. <laughs> yes, freedom, freedom. Yeah, that's how, where I know her from, the Kamala you know Harris yeah. yeah. From the politics. <laughs> the politics. <laughs> where are you on UFOs, though, Joel Creasy? 
Um, I'm a believer. Where are you on UFOs? Oh, there has to be something. There has because to be. Aren't we just like, what, like one of a billion galaxies or something? It's so something arrogant ridiculous. of us to assume it would just oh, be us. Joel and I are Milky Way girls. We, we're we pro Milky Way. But I want them to show themselves. I want to see them. I want to see one. Come maybe they, join w- they us. walk amongst us, maybe. Maybe they do. Oh yeah, my I've gosh. met a few few freaks in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, then, what about this? There's 200 billion galaxies between 200 Milky billion. Way. Wait, wait, Milky wait. Way, number one. Milky Way. Wait, wait, wait. Way. Between 200 billion to 2 trillion galaxies. I'm cross-eyed, oh, well, you, I can't. If you could whittle that down a bit, that'd be great. Thank you. <laughs> um, well, a tourist in... Now, are we saying... A be, is it? A, it's Ibiza, is well, it? Ibiza. Let's, let's see how the song says it. I took a pill in Ibiza. Ibiza. Oh, in Ibiza. Oh, Ibiza. Oh, I've never been... I have. It's really fun. But I was um, getting ready to shoot a music video when I got home, so I couldn't be a bloated piss bag. (laughs) (laughs) So I had to not drink and not eat or enjoy any of the fun times. What did you do? I just like. Did you take a pill in the visa? No, I had to like exercise and. I took a neurofin so in a bees. <laughs> <laughs> took a Voltaren in a bees. Well, there's a, a, reportedly someone has seen a UFI, UFI, a UFO flying across the sky in a bees. I think have we have a little a bit pill? of audio. That That's they... what I'm thinking. Oh, oh, wow. oh wow, that is I real. Mean, what is that? It's a and yellow then it disappeared. dot. Yeah, and, and then look, it like disappeared, or is it just a um? You know, when you... A camera. Yeah, like a flare on the lens. I don't think it so, though, because be it's moving. Flare. But it's moving. Well, it did move. It moved real quick. Oh, oh my God, it moved. Ooh. Do you want to know some other famous UFO sightings? Yes, 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 yes. In yes. 2014 in Kensington, Canada, at about 11.30pm, a couple were putting out a bonfire and witnessed numerous lights in the sky over the Gulf of St. Lawrence. In Rendlesham Forest, England in 1980, US Air Force members reported seeing strange colourful lights above Rendlesham Forest. One of the men entered the forest and reported discovering a spacecraft. Others confirmed damage to nearby trees and a higher level of radiation. I'm not sure why the others didn't go and check out the spacecraft. (laughs) They're busy. That would have been the logical... I mean, if I was in charge, if I was the Admiral, I'd be like, right, off you go. Maybe they were having a session. Maybe they were busy. Oh, right. You know? They weren't worried. They weren't worried about what was going on definitely what they do in the army when they're not on the clock. They yeah. were worried about what was going on down there. And then, of course, Robert Taylor claimed that a flying drone uh, tried to abduct him in 1979 in Sacrement Law, Scotland. It apparently seized Robert and dragged him in the direction of the UFO when he lost consciousness. When Robert came to, the spacecraft was gone. Well, that's very convenient, Robert. Yeah, Robert. Everyone's got, yeah, the, the people who cite them are the ones that I don't believe in. Yeah. You know, because if there's two <laughs> trillion galaxies potentially, yeah. there's definitely something out there. Yeah. Remember, there was that big, that big, um, like American hearing into into spacecraft, yes. and that yeah. kind of went quiet since you know Trump and Kamala and everyone yes, and started popping up. It was supposed to be revealed. That? There was supposed to be something there was a former that, was, that had been sealed. I know. I felt sorry for those was... poor aircraft, um, aircraft, um, air force people that came forward and admitted to seeing. Yeah. Yes, now they said that they'd there. seen Loopy. they'd seen stuff so many times when they're when and they're, they're up dead in... now. Clearly. Because you're not allowed to talk like that. Ooh. Imagine where are they now, huh? Oh, I know. Get them on the phone. All right, well, I beat through it is. Let's go. Maybe okay. we should do I a recce them. there. Let's do it. Let's yeah, just go I check it out and see if we can find the UFO. Yeah. Just make now, sure everyone's safe. Maybe it's a UFO you caught on camera. If you caught something weird on your security camera, we want to hear from I'm you next. Really You'll like this story. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Too cool for school. On Nova. Cyril and Dino. I mean, they're, they're a couple I want to have a couple of beers with at the pub, Cyril and Dino. Oh, if they could come with Hugh and Ryan. Oh, Hugh and Ryan. Ryan. Cyril and Dino. The oh, my God. Quite the dinner party. Biggest opening for an R-rated movie in history. Is it R-rated? Yeah, Deadpool Green and Wolverine owl. is hectic. Are they always R-rated? Apparently, yes. I think they're quite gory. I've seen a Deadpool. It's a lot, a lot of blood, but a lot of jokes. I think it's actually... It's really funny. I think it's the content, not necessarily the gore that makes it R. Like, it's a lot of drug stuff. And oh, Really? I like the way you quietly very said the for D part of that word. Ugg stuff. <laughs> it doesn't feel very sure who's just come from doing the music man on Broadway for a year. Not a cold Trump, here. Not a huge, Hugh Jackman and Sutton Foster. 
Fuck Kate Blanchard, Nicole Kidman's friend, Hugh. Hugh. But when he's in Wolverine mode, he's a bit kooky with Ryan. He's a bit, he's a bit, um, yeah, and he's naughty. Yeah. He throws the rule book out when he's Wolverine. And what's Deb up to these days? Has she, has she met someone new? I'm not oh, sure. Deb's probably just living it up. I reckon Deb's in a bean bag right now watching the Olympics in a bean with bag? a packet of twisties. What, yeah, instead of the like, beans? No, she's like having the best time. She's got she's like in a bean bag on a porch watching the Olymp- on the, on the Ollie porch. G's, sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> Ollie G's. It's so hard. It's so I, hard. Forgive I like, me. I like the Forgive Ozempics me. too. The Ozempics is the good. Ozempics the Ozempics is really Ozempics. good. Because Ollie G's is hard to remember. I worked out. I need, yeah. to, I need to have it written down. But the Ozempics really does. Yeah, I, you know, I agree. Thank you, Dan, for us. that. Um, I didn't really want to, you know, never mind. Let's know. talk security cameras. <laughs> yes. 132410. What have you caught on security cam? A lot of, I mean, look. Let's colloquially call them ring the ring cam. Well, those or even dash cams. I watch so many videos of hectic dash cam <laughs> of course accidents, do. and it's always Australians, and there's always F and C words in there. Yeah. It, oh, it's so Australian. Oh. Someone at the 50th I went to on Saturday night said, can you please tell Ricky <laughs> yeah. I share the same favourite word as her, and I love how <laughs> yeah. often she tries to use <laughs> dash cam. Like, I don't know if... Dash cam. Um, if the if the code of radio code of whatever no, we're broadcasting loves it as much, words. absolutely not. <laughs> but there's been, so many things get caught on on home security cameras or dash cams. Isn't that allegedly how Joe Jonas and Sophie yes. Turner broke up? Yes, Sophie That's Turner? right. Yes, yeah. there was yeah. a conversation or something that was. But no one ever knew what. No, but they just said it's something that he heard and on then the it ring was cam, over. and then it was over. I've got to say, they don't charge for very long. The ring cams or Jack's they just don't. constantly charging. No, us. they don't. Yeah. You know, the, the battery. Costs so much money as well, yeah. and you have, so you have to have two really. You to change them, yeah, constantly though. <laughs> we sell it. Constantly, yeah. Rich used to change them all the time, and one. <laughs> One time when we sold our house last year, we were overseas and because we were going in Texas watching Beyonce. And <laughs> <laughs> what a sentence. I know. The most relatable sentence of all time. Because he lives, everybody. Oh, I used to be the unrelatable one on the show. I love it. I'm when, we, when, we, when we sold our house for heaps, um, we, we weren't even there. <laughs> we were seeing Beyonce in Texas. Stop we weren't it. even there for when we sold our house for heaps. Stop yeah, I can't remember where it was. <laughs> We were in Beyonce. We we're watching Beyonce, but someone told yeah, us that our, I'm not sure our which house, house sold for heaps. But one of them sold. <laughs> someone texted me and said, "Sold for heaps." Had and I said, drink. "Cool." No, that's actually She's what doing happened. Our agent yeah, called us yeah, and said, "Get a drink." And we ordered fried chicken and waffles and ate it in bed. So <laughs> right, oh my Beyonce. god! <laughs> we sold our house for heaps overseas. Stop yeah. <laughs> no, yes. that's not the point. So we were overseas and we were watching people coming and going and all that kind of stuff. And um, <laughs> once it had sold and the sold sticker went up, mm-hmm. obviously one of our neighbours thought the coast is clear and. He walked down the driveway and oh. stole plants that he'd we'd planted in like the the front area of they the were house. Actually planted. Yes, yes. Oh just, my God. just those plants at the front and walked off. Yeah. What a like. They're not that's yours. That, that is cheeky. That's that's illegal. But they're also not his. He didn't buy the house. No, I understand how it works. They're he, not his. He took what them from your you garden. Think you can come down the driveway and take my things. I understand. I've got to get my ring camera working again because remember someone was trying to steal girlfriend for a while. It's, She's gotten quite big and aggressive now. It's so, so much fun. You can down. yell at people from it. It's the can best. You, you yeah, make you some money with your ring camera like, with your lifestyle. I lifestyle. am Oz, <laughs> the great <laughs> and terrible. Who I? What do you mean I can make some money with my ring cam? You know. You know what I mean? Oh, well, ring cam. Oh, you meant because he oh. lives at the moment. I could. Ma- I'm, I'm thinking about it. What would I do on there? I just thought ring cam was different hey. for you. Do my chucky dip dates? Yeah, just do your chucky dip dates and just slowly eat them. But I want to tell you about this story. This grandmother came to visit her family, and uh, the ring camera got the the conversation <laughs> between her and her grandson. <laughs> I love it. Hi, grandma. Let me in? Uh, no, I can't. I just started a game. Well, pause it and let me in. <laughs> I can't pause it. It's a online ranked game. Well, tell your dad to open the door. Hey, Dad, Grandma's in the backyard. I'm pooping. He's pooping. <laughs> well, I'm not waiting. You could always come back later. <laughs> Forget it. I'm, I'm out of here. You guys are crazy. Bye. Oh, Love you. God. So hang on, he's playing an online game. He can't move. He can't move. And, and dad's, dad's pooping. <laughs> dad's Come this back to like, grandma. Oh my God, this is like when Jack's playing Fortnite and banging at the door all night long. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. I'm like... Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. I love that. On Nova. Our last Nova Red Room was Teddy. Our next one is Angus and Julia Stone. Tones and I as well. I mean, the list just gets 
bigger. It's like one of those scrolls. The red room's oh, yeah. busy. Like, I think, no, like, leave the lights on. Oh, yeah, the red? Yeah, leave the red on. The people it's might just... get confused because, you know, red light means, like, you know. Oh, yeah. Ear, ear. We might have I don't a think anybody in this visitors. building is getting confused. Well, no, no, but actually. if you walk past the red room and you're not, oh, not yeah, aware, hang on. we don't have quite... red rooms in the building, do we? No, there is, a, there yeah. is a red room in the Sydney <laughs> we do. studios. It's you, quite oh, yeah, cushy and lush yes, and do. red velvet. It's very sexy in there. I wouldn't be surprised if someone so got mixed you two up. kind of pop off to in some of the breaks? Yeah, when we say we're going to the toilet. No, that's in the red room. Please don't. I don't like that. Rude to Ricky. We're using the red room. The shtick works when it's. You and Joel, yeah, but oh, it's yeah. weird if it's me and Tim, you yeah. know, because yeah. that's just not. You know. Get those, get that red room light on. Put on the red. Tell me who light. you're seeing on screen. I'll light see you tomorrow. Right it's now, the Osbournes. Please. Right. Do you know what this glossy is about? No. Remember last week we spoke about Ozzy and yes. his thoughts on Britney Spears. Yes. yes. He said, I, "I'm gonna," you know, he didn't like her dancing. Yes, it was too much. Oh, for and, him. and I kind of agree with him. Well. Him and the family have come out and apologised. Can we apologise oh. to Britney Spears? Oh, yeah. Britney, I really owe oh, you an apology. I'm so sorry. Oh, However, buddy. it would be better if you didn't do the same dance every day. Change a few movements. <laughs> I love that okay, Ozzy's yeah, giving I'm, I'm, I'm with dance, Ozzy. dance advice. Is Sharon Change Osborne out the curry. a skeleton? Yeah. <laughs> and oh, and I think she's... I think as well because she's had... Um, I don't know how many. I'm guessing more than one facelift. Yeah. She's been quite open about all of the work that she's had done, but now that, you know, she's on the Ozempics. Wow. It's a yeah. lot. It's tied up like a balloon at the back, you know. It's like hectic. I also love it how she doesn't have to be open about all the work she's had done because we can see. I know. I yeah. know. We but have I, eyes, I, Sharon. I think it's refreshing. I like when people say, yeah, I of did course. it. Of course. I Please. did that. Yeah, I have Same. been doing that. Yep, I got new boobs. Because yep, we can tell. this isn't my original nose. Yeah, there's heaps of stuff in my lips. I know. I've told you my story. I want to get a really botched nose job for just like three months and then the cover of like who be like, has he or hasn't he? And it's like, oh, oh clearly he has. His nose is on his forehead. <laughs> and then I fix it. Oh, but I love that arc. that's all the room yeah. <laughs> all the rooms to get on the that. cover then, of a new idea. I know, then I've got a comedy <laughs> festival show. Boom. That's how it works. <laughs> I've got you a new idea on, on my desk if you want to take my it home. My new idea? Where yeah, is the one that, that you're in that from mean? the Gold Coast. Oh, it's on my desk if you want to take it home. hanging off the building. Because I don't have toilet magazines anymore, so if you'd like to have it. No thanks. I don't, <laughs> or, just here's, an, here's a fun fact. All the stuff in those magazines is made up. <laughs> <laughs> no, you were on the Gold Coast. I wasn't. Um, I was on the Gold was, Coast. They did well, they, take a photo from my Instagram, yes. Yeah. They once ran a story that Christy and I were having a baby together. Oh, that's beautiful. I know. What happened to the to child? both of us. What happened to um, the young it child? Was ne- the, <laughs> the young child was never to be. Next glossy, you guys would love this one, no <gasps> doubt. <gasps> Real Housewives, Real Housewives, Real Housewives. That is Salt Lake wives. City. No, that's sorry, that's New Jersey. It's New Jersey. Jersey. Do you know what it is? That's it's getting Teresa. a reboot. Of course it is. It's one of the one. It's one of the original uh, Housewives franchises. Andy and Khan course, wants to bring in fresh faces and get rid of all the negativity. Well, that oh, won't work. You can't get rid of Teresa. You can't get rid of her. Why? No, they they want to get rid of the faces. negativity, but they want her. Yeah, that's she's all the one that fresh, flipped the table gone. and went to jail. Yes, was it her that went to jail? or Was it her husband? No, she went. To, that, she Both went to jail, and then her husband went to jail. What they got to family. go like like at separate times and, for the kids. And isn't her daughter the one that sings that like like video that went viral? Like, <laughs> she's it's really. Oh yeah, I love it when the housewives release music. It's always oh my such God. a treat. Countess so Luann, karma at me. Well, what she'd about say this? La Where was she do at the Olympics? You, do you think? Um, I mean, the Olympics. You oh, wouldn't. Oh, oh. You wouldn't know who Countess Luann is. I don't know who anyone is. Joel, I'm going to ask you this question. Yes, Ricky Lee. Do you think that Countess Luann looks like my mum, Loretta? Oh, my God. Are they not the same person? Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) Countess Loretta. (laughs) Countess Loretta. They are exactly the same. (laughs) Next lossy on screen, what's happening here? Oh, this is uh, Gaga oh. and uh, Joaquin? Joaquin. Is that Joaquin Phoenix? Phoenix? The, the new Joker um, movie is coming out, and they just released the new trailer for it, which well, looks yes, amazing. This is, oh, no, I can't wait for this. The Joker Foy de Adje. Oh, is that why she was at the Ollie Jeans? Joaquin Phoenix revealed that he first sang for Lady Gaga in the musical uh, in the musical sequel. Musical sequel? The movie sequel? So um, she was so impressed with his singing, she spat her coffee out. Wow. Yes. 
I sometimes say that to people on text, like, oh, my God, that is so funny. I just spat out what I was drinking. Never have I spat out what yeah. I was drinking. Yeah. I just really want to make that person feel good. It's, it's October like, 3. Oh, is it really a musical? Yeah, I think it what? is. Yeah. Since when? The first one wasn't. Oh, well, no, Gar- maybe now Gaga's say gotten involved. Oh, no. She's like, let's, let's it jazz it up a bit. It seem super musical from the... Anyway. I I'm intrigued. I'm I watched, very I, intrigued. I watched the Mean Girls musical uh, on the plane on the weekend. That was very good. <laughs> okay. Um, last glossy. What's happening here? <laughs> Pop culture man. Snoop Dogg. This is Snoop Dogg. Yes. Yes. And Dogg. he's at the Ollie G's. He was watching Simone Biles at the of Ollie course. G's. Yes. I Everyone's mean, favourite Simone. She's people incredible. People love her. A lot of people were in the stands as well. Famous people were in the stands to watch Ollie the Gaga big, um, was there. Tom oh, God, Cruise so was there. Hard. The Ozempic. Snoop Dogg was so impressed watching Simone Biles in the gymnastics at the Ollie G's that he removed his sunglasses. Yes. And he never does that. Yes, Snoop! (laughs) (laughs) All right, after the the news. Stoned eyes. Hot and steamy jobs that your partner may have. Yeah. And also Angus and Julius Stone Red Room invites in Joel Jivin. Down. Guys. No. Can I what? suggest something? No. Because, but look no, at because you're chuffing off. No, because you're you're, this off. is your last day for us this week. That's which, why I want to do it. I say no. Screw why you. Why can't I do it? Because well, I'm doing it. I'm just going to do a solo call. Do I'm it. calling it. You watch I'm what happens. It. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. I'm just turned her off, Joel. Oh, um, you oh and I, God. anyway, so we can. You and I here. You and I here for the next uh, three days together. Just the and boys. I, I'm coming up to be with you in real life. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be able to touch me. I- IRL Joel Creasy. IRL. Fun. Last time I was in town, you gave me a hickey. What's going to happen next? <laughs> oh, please. What did you do? Oh, she's calling yeah, it herself. Siri to play me an air horn. <laughs> Ridiculous. Piss off, Siri. No, calling it. No, we're, we're, no stop it, Jermaine. Jermaine, yes. turn, turn those lights yes. off because we're all here. Turn those lights off. And we, we, it's going to be quite an intense stop show it. the next few days. We've got some big things to discuss, so we can't call it. Stop it. I'm calling stop it. Because we're all here. We're all working. For the next three days. <laughs> like, I get, your, wor- yeah, I get oh, okay. your working too. Singing oh, okay. working. On Camelback. In I'm su- on singing sunset. tunes. I'm working. I'm very busy. I'm the Did people's prince. Did your boots stop working? Did your truck break down? <laughs> Do you remember the lyrics of Raining Diamonds? Always. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, anyway, this is today. You're still here. Lots happening on today's show, including next... Steamy jobs that you may have or your partner may have. Oh my go Dasher, go Dasher. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel yes! on Nova. Dasher has loved us and left us, but if you can't get enough of Dasher this Friday on my podcast, introducing, you'll hear much chat with Dasher. I'll be listening. I'm a new fan. Since she came into the studio, I, I was like, she's a bloody legend. She really is. She really is a bloody legend. She's a little ripper. She is. Yeah, yeah. And I am. I've downloaded her album. I'm going to listen to the album on my, it's a good my album. next flight. Yes. Opening tracks, um, title tracks, my favourite. Okay. Yes. Don't think stop you've... something. I can't think of what it's called. Okay. That one. I think you've got oh, a No, what happens Ricky? now? <laughs> what happens now? <laughs> oh, yeah. I've got to read the pop star handbook. <laughs> I've been writing Ricky Lee a pop star handbook that she's oh. going to read on her flight to her next gig. But you know, you actually, rules. you don't actually have to write it and you've actually got to type it up and you've actually got to send it. Can you yeah. send me a PDF? I've of got it, a publisher. Great. Send it yeah. as a PDF. I'll read it on the plane while listening to another pop star, Dasha. Yeah, yeah, okay. Pop I have a feeling. Publishing. I have a feeling that handbook should be delivered. <laughs> like, remember when uh, Tom Cruise in Jerry Maguire delivers yes. his treatment? Yes. His like little thing. He yep. puts. That's one of the great scenes when he's so like, good. "God, that's oh, a good movie." Oh, it's such a good movie, oh. Jerry Maguire. Maybe I'll well, maybe I'll bring it to Sydney tomorrow. You can proof it over the weekend for me. And then put the it in your pigeon shows, holes. Yeah. And then we'll put it in Ricky's pigeon hole. Yeah. Do we like have? That. We should get pigeon holes. We do. It would be fun. Like, do we actually have? We pigeon don't. Holes? don't. Okay. How do you think we get mail? They go in the Vicky, RTJ pigeon hole. Vicky, Vicky sends it, to, gives it to me. Okay, great. Well, we have a pigeon hole here. We have pi- actual oh, okay, pigeon hole. Yeah. And That's you've got a red so room. Well fun. done. Yeah. So you know so how I said retro. we have pigeon holes? And you're like, no, you don't. Well, well, I've never seen the pigeon holes. I've never seen the pigeon Where are the pigeon holes? You're never here. You mean, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're never I'm, here. Oh, and how often are you here? Let's, 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 oh, please. You've been here once. I've been to you a million times. Oh, 500 against one. You never come to see poor little Joel in Melbourne. 
Poor I've got Erin here. I've got Erin here today. <laughs> Stole ya. Got her. Gotcha. 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 <laughs> gotcha. Okay, next we'll talk about steamy jobs. Steamy jobs. Do you, um, have, a, do you have a sexy steamy job? Why don't we job? do this? Why don't we do this? For the steamiest job, we'll award you 100 bucks to spend at Chemist Warehouse. Yes. This is so For great. the hottest, steamiest, OnlyFans-style yes. job. Yes. We'll award you with 100 bucks to spend at Chemist Warehouse. You don't have to have it. Warehouse. You could just know someone that has oh. it. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel, etc. Et on Nova. <laughs> Lewis Capaldi. Forget you, Tim. Forget you, Ricky. It's Lewis. Lewis Capaldi here on Nova. Joel driving coming up real soon. Let's just get into this. We have 100 bucks. Thanks to Chemist Warehouse to give away for the most steamy of jobs. Because there is a 27-year-old OnlyFans creator. Her name is Shana. And I've never heard of this, but she offers men the girlfriend experience on her oh, account. Right. Oh, right. my goodness. Yes, so the girlfriend experience. Um, what does that include? She, she Well, she earns $1,000 to Taking every... Taking things out of context? <laughs> <laughs> do, yeah, do they get the full girlfriend experience? No, the emotion. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. not, re- not, not knowing what to have for dinner tonight? <laughs> Or Not the, ever picking a restaurant. Or this touch of my skin hurts today. <laughs> never paying for an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> See, I Am I in the right track? Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Um, so she earns $1,000 for every 10 minutes that she spends with her internet what? boyfriends by simply chatting about their days and they send each other photos. So they can like feel like they have a girlfriend and they can have that companionship and those oh. conversations. Without actually needing to, you know, worry about all the other troubles and oh stuff, God, like our emotions just go to therapy. and stuff. <laughs> just go to I therapy, know, right? man. Well, you know, some people struggle to meet a person and yeah, aren't Joel. good with conversation, oh, and they need someone that's, <laughs> yeah, Joel. that's offering little... sage medical advice. But no, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Yeah, Joel. What do you know? <laughs> We're really ramping up to it just being you and I in the next few days because we are going for it in the ad breaks. You can show well. up now if you want. Okay. <laughs> you thought I called you something off air today and I didn't and then I gave one of the great insults just there. I which you can't you repeat me a on tub air. of lard when I walked into the studio today and I was so shocked. <laughs> That's a great And insult, horrified. Though, it? it really is. But you really didn't say that. No, I said, you have your stack of live reads? I know. And I said, <laughs> did you just call me a tub of lard? Yeah. That's yeah. the girlfriend experience. Yeah. yeah. Miss he- mishearing something yeah. and reacting. <laughs> No, I didn't say that. No, I didn't. Does, so, so does this girl, does she meet up with people in real life or is it all online? I think it's all phone calls and, like, that she sends photos of herself to them, but not necessarily sexual photos. They're just, you know, so her pricey. here and there. Yeah, so ten, it's $10,000 for a 10-minute phone call. What? Um, well, hang on, what? Is she a lawyer? No, and she earns up to $200,000 yeah. a month for these girlfriend experiences. But one of the things that I thought made this interesting is that her actual boyfriend yeah. has to help her with the content. So he has to take oh, the photos brilliant. of her that she's sending to these <laughs> online boyfriends. Oh, I, do well, I guess that. he doesn't care if she's bringing in so much cash. I know, no. but like that's, you know, he, he I think he he does get a little bit funny about she has to take saucy pics to send to people. I like doing that with Jack. Oh right. my god! Yes. Get into it, Joel. I'll write all the content. He can just be in the pictures. Yes. Steamy. Steamy. Make some cash. Yeah, Jack, I just need a photograph. You <laughs> come Jack. get out the shower. Yeah, just say, Jack, send me a sexy photo. Yeah. Uh, Jenny, <laughs> it's not going anywhere. Hello, Jenny. Uh, tell us about your steamy job. Hello, Jenny. Is it? Hello, is hi. It, oh, hi. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> Hi, sorry, I thought you said Jamie. She's keeping us. She's she's mysterious, <laughs> Jenny. I know, this is a bit of foreplay. I don't Jenny. Like Hang on, Jenny, it, is Jenny. this the girlfriend experience? A really annoying phone call? <laughs> 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 um, hi, guys. I have a colleague, um, and it's not, not a boyfriend, it's a colleague. Um, yeah. He okay, noted. works in the warehouse, and then he does Magic Man. Oh, yes. Um, oh, I've been. So he'll rock up with, like, tight shorts. <laughs> like, he's got a... A really good rig on him. Yeah. And then everyone's just like, oh, my God. But he takes his missus to, like, the show. So she pretends she's, like, a bystander. And he pulls oh, her up on stage. Oh, I hate stage. it when they do that. Oh, <laughs> no. Well, that's good. I mean, that's pretty cheeky. He gets her up on stage yeah. and then so she doesn't have to get jealous. I like that. I like that. What does he do yeah. again? What is it? Magic men, like like Thunder from Down Under the type Like Magic stuff. Mike. So they, like, Oh, like Jamie Jury they... used to do. Yeah. Oh, Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, this is the third time he's been mentioned this week. <laughs> <laughs> I only remember two. Like manpower. I know, like man sexy power. men was such dancing. a thing, wasn't it? I know, I know, but I always thought it was funny because they, they all had like really thin eyebrows. 
I'm like, that's not hot. I'd Are you looking definitely at the eyebrows? Men, I noticed that with, part. If, if a man on stage with an amazing body has really thin eyebrows, I can't yeah, be excited about your body. Maybe he has tichotillomania. Maybe he does, but you know, the girls are all giving a thumbs down in, in the booth over there. You can't. A man Do I have with thin really, eyebrows? No, but like overly plucked oh, no. okay. eyebrows. Okay, good. I would love to pencil yours in for you, though. Really? Maybe you guys yeah. can do that. When I found out I won a radio award, I was, that's, remember I was penciling my eyebrow in? That's how I found out. And I went, Bagah! and it went straight up my face. Came in with a real bushy eyebrow. <laughs> Why were you penciling day. your eyebrow at the awards? Because how do you find out no, you we won? Weren't at the, this was the COVID year when there were no awards. Oh, the COVID year. So I found out you... by Peter Ford on Sunrise. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to pretend when I came into the office to the bosses that I didn't know. I love it. <laughs> and you have one eye- eyebrow. Um, one Emily, eyebrow is a bit crazy. Emily, your hot and steamy job, please. What's happening? collect bull semen for an AI company. So basically, I was a dungeon master for bulls. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> hold on. Wait a minute. Could you just say what? that one more time? Wait, hold, hold up. Wait a minute. This I is collected amazing. bull semen for an AI company. So and what does that mean? Stop, stop. AI company? The full stop has to be after AI company. <laughs> what? But now you say AI, is that like an agricultural company or like artificial intelligence? Artificial insemination. Oh, uh, the job. <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel, driving you home on Nova. I love this. Ocean Man. Now, this is a little crazy Titanic stat, Joel Creasy. Oh, my gosh. I watched a bit of Titanic on the plane the other day. Um, Reese Thompson, the actor who played that kid in the Titanic. Um, I'm going to grab of him. Can I play a grab? Because you'll know this when they lock the doors and they don't let the, the people from below oh, deck up. Yes. Oh, yes. Please, it's play it. Play it. I don't know, but allow the women and children to the What are we doing, Mummy? We're just waiting, dear. When they finish putting the first class oh, people in the world, they'll be starting with us and we'll want to be all ready, won't we? Classic oh, scene, classic film. It makes film. me cry so much. And when the, also um, when the old couple are just like and holding like, each other in bed hands. and there's water coming through the floor. Anyway, in good news for this child who didn't die, he only acted in the film, um, he receives a $100 to $250 check each year for briefly featuring in the film. Which is strange. Just, wow, that's odd to me. residuals for that. Get, that's odd. Well, I think um, Leo and Kate went for residuals on Titanic, didn't they? Or Leo certainly Because you can take a lesser fee and opt for residuals. If I understand. Saying that if you're Leo film. or Kate, but if you're this kid who's in it for 8.2 seconds, why is he getting royalties? And also, well, that get... would be such an annoying thing to account to some, like the company oh, that no. is doing all of that. It's Imagine a... the guy giving him the the, the the check. Oh my god, this guy again! I get I get residuals <laughs> for neighbours. It's like 50 cents. I'm, I'm not going to bank oh that. God. That's just I'm not going yeah. down to the but, bank for yeah, that. They're like my young divas residuals. <laughs> <laughs> How strange though that that kid gets yeah. gets like royalties. Good on him. Oh, yes. Sure. James Cameron would hate it because he hates everything. <laughs> Except for under the ocean. Under the ocean he was your best friend. The ocean. All right, up next, if you have a super niche type, we want to hear from you. Nice. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Heard of it. On Nova. I can Sabrina Carpenter would be someone's type. Oh, one Definitely. or two, maybe. You know, like, you know, she's someone's type. Gorgeous. Sabby C. Sabby C. Sabby C. Um, if you have a super niche type type though. Like, if you have a yeah. real niche type, I want to hear from you now on 13, 24, 10. Like, chip like, black nail real polish. Like, chip yeah. nail polish and... Uh, um, chip black nail polish uh, and... What are they called? Um, um, leg, not leggings. Oh, fishnets. Um, fishnets. Yeah. That's you. You know, that? what, you know what mine is? Oh, it's me. Okay, big yeah. noses. Yeah, you know, like a big no- yeah, yeah, I love yeah. a big schnoz. Yeah, my type is... I can't say it, actually. Managerial. <laughs> managerial, yes. Managerial. I, love, I love men with great managerial skills. Well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Who likes eggs? Who loves eggs and potentially eats too many. There you go. <laughs> what about this? to cut back. Lily Allen on her podcast, she's got a hard cast. Of course she does. She's revealed that her type is big, old, hairy men. Oh, my God. I know someone exactly like that. Big, old, hairy men. Yeah, I, I'm, I kind of relate to that. Not the hairy part, but I've always liked older men. Quite you know that- a lot older. Yeah, it's okay. Joe that Biden person that works with Joe me a Biden, lot. Yeah, you bite nothing, bitch. <laughs> you bite nothing, bitch. No, that person that works with me a lot. He likes um, big hairy men. Big hairy men. Who's that? Mm. Bears. Oh, does he? Yeah, loves. Does loves. he? Loves. Yes. Loves a big bear. Mm. A big cuddly bear. Is that why bear. he's always flossing? 
God. So Lily Allen loves a big <laughs> bearded man. <laughs> I'm not into. I'm not really into beards. And I've like, been. I've been a few beards, but I'm not like, really into them. Big hairy men. Mm-hmm. Like, do they leave lots of their big hairy hair? Or their all big over hairy the place? hair, like when they like roll around off the bed. I don't know. I don't like, know any. Are there I like heaps of with like, <laughs> you know, like back hairs left in the in the bed? Oh, back hairs. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> no, but back wanna... hairs. Ooh. You know, no, I mean, if you just, you know, if you got it, blown it. I get one occasionally. Ooh, et cetera. <laughs> just get one. Yeah. Oh, really? You catch it in the reflection under the yeah. shower. Like, oh, I think I'll get rid of that. Oh, yeah, and mine's like, like, I get one coming out of mold. Way around. Oh, no, like, boink. <laughs> it's quite satisfying when you get one. Because, like, the, the, trying to get it is, is fun. Can I ask a question? I haven't <laughs> asked the kids to do this yet, but is it appropriate to ask a child? It's your child. Oh, my God. I'm so excited to, for whatever you're about to say. It's to, all, it, in my mind, it's so inappropriate. To pluck <laughs> of a hair on your back not, that you can't reach. I'm not just remotely. asking. Not I think that's totally fine. So I think I that think it's, it's totally fine. fine. To, I think I did that for I think I did that for my grandma oh my or something at some point. Because if that's the case, I've got something for my daughter for tomorrow. <laughs> No, save for it for you. me. Save it for oh, me. Are you serious? I've already given you a hickey on the air. I'll get it with my teeth. Oh, <laughs> my God. That's I'm, the best. I'm, not gonna, <laughs> I'm done doing stuff with you for social. I am getting it with my teeth. Okay. Good to know. Uh, anyway, mm. enjoy Lily. She's been married Loving to that big old hairy David David Harbour. He looks a little Since bit like Daniel Johnson in that photo. Yeah, he does. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Somebody stop me. On Nova. It's so good. It's so good. Great. I like this song. I can do it with a broken heart. That's great. Um, <laughs> Fun cricket. <laughs> <laughs> I just sit out and wait until the accent's finished because I cannot get involved. You did impressions yesterday or Friday. Was it yesterday you did impressions? Yeah. What was, you I, were, what was I doing? You were just giving impression after impression. Was I? Yeah, that I mean, was, not just, good that was ones. yesterday. <laughs> no, no, was yeah, like, that was yesterday. Who was I being? You were like, hey, I'm Carmel Harris. <laughs> I've never done Kamala Harris. There are so many people online that do very funny Kamala Harris's though. I can't wait to look at them tonight. I'll binge it. Um, my Ru- but my Rudolph, she, she's going to have to clear her schedule because she's going to be on SNL every weekend doing Kamala for the next few months. She's so good. She's so good. Now, I love her so much. We are loving the Ollie G's. Um, we are loving the Ollie G's. Ozempics in Paris. Now, we did talk on this show a couple of weeks ago about how dirty that river is though. Yeah, filthy. I know the E. coli levels. Is that yeah. correct? And then, Chris, refresh my memory. Why people were pooing in the Seine? Because they don't the, like the mayor. The Lord Mayor, I think, said that she was going to swim in the Seine to show the world that it's not that yeah. dirty. <laughs> and they all hate the Lord Mayor because they love protesting in Paris. Yeah. Um, so they're all like they all shit in the Seine. Oh my God! And now on the, on these... the day. That she was going to swim in it. That's right, and because they were timing if they did a it, what day they had to do it, so that it would float down and be right where yeah, she was. That's right, at the perfect time. I mean, people are wonderful. Now, <laughs> CNN popped a reporter in there, but they had her in a wetsuit. I'm like, oh yeah, that's real convincing that the water's so but fine it's to like swim they're in. They're going to put their faces in, and and their that reporter was working Ugh. for C and CNN. <laughs> um, but the games, I think, is but look. I don't know. I don't know the intricacies of it, but it looks like it's been going off without a hitch, except for the fact that the men's triathlon bit of rain will now not go ahead on Tuesday. Uh-huh. Oh, bummer! The sand I is my day because the, the pollution levels in the sand remain way too high for world triathlon standards. But so, what do they do if if it doesn't change? They can't just like you know throw a bit of chlorine in there. How do they fix that to get <laughs> it at the right level for them to well, be able to might, compete? And what if they can't? They might have to find a lebitch. A what? A lebitch. What, what did you just a call le-bitch. me? <laughs> Isn't that what you're doing? I can get there in the next plage. 24 hours. Lebitch. La plage. La plage. <laughs> Isn't that what it's called? A but it's a, they can't. Lebitch. <laughs> okay, what is beach le in French? It's, okay, this is oh, going to sound really shoot. dumb. I should know. Yeah. I should know more as a Eurovision host. But is Paris anywhere close to a beach? Well, no, because the surfing's in Tahiti. Because that's in oh, French that's Polynesia. Right. Yeah. You should go down to Nice. Go oh, down be to gorgeous. Nice and like try and get into the water gracefully on those rocks. Were you down in Nice when you were selling one of your other properties? Is that oh, how it would be? Shut <laughs> up. Is that the place that um, um, was named after the Anna's biscuit? <laughs> you know the Nice biscuits? Yeah, I love a Nice. I love a Nice, nice biscuit. Yeah. yeah, the ones with the sugar on them. They're classics. I don't think I've ever had that. Are you on drugs? Were you born no. yesterday? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> you know the Nice biscuits? Jermaine, are you putting yeah, a picture of the Nice biscuit about. up you on get the screen? Pack or are you sitting them. around with your hoodie doing, F all. 
There's lots of celebrities in um, Paris as well. I didn't realise um, Tony Hawk was there. He, you know, I'm a big Tony Hawk fan. You're a huge Tony Hawk fan. You always talk about Tony Hawk. Are John Legend like... and Chrissy Teigen are there. Thought that that fun duo. I've never had a Nice biscuit, but I want one in They're my so mouth. So delicious. Immediately. Are That's... they coconutty? No, there's just sugar. There's white sugar on top. Okay, no yeah. need to yell. And good in a cup of tea. Like, you know, you only have to dunk for a couple of seconds and then it's nice and soft. Oh, my God. You've never done that in your life. <laughs> uh, yes, I do. I'm... Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. All right, here we go. Let me do my best. I believe in you. Dreamwork. Let me just get my guitar solo. I'm going to add the last help in myself. If you're just joining us and working out what we're doing, here we go. I believe in you. You can do it. Get those chunky fingers out. Six, five, six, seven. Yes, Tim. Woo! Woo! I told you about the counting, though, okay? You don't need to count. You're not Lydia Tarr. You didn't tell me about the counting <laughs> at all. I did. I said your counting put me off. Don't, I don't count. I've ever heard of a character that you've loved more than L- Lydia, Lydia Tarr. Tarr. <laughs> Lydia Tarr is <laughs> Lydia Tarr. the OG. Yeah, she sounds like a piece of work. Have you not seen it? I haven't seen it. No, oh, it my so gosh. Boring. You should oh. watch it. It's hectic. It's sorry, so, sorry, Kate, if you're listening, but I didn't so watch Tarr. I mean, Br- Bradley Cooper and Maestro was also particularly excellent. I, I started know. that and I had to turn it off because I was so bored. Look, it's a bit up itself. But it Tar is, is exceptional. Oh, Tar's Tar looks even more up itself. Oh, my God. No, there's some great quotes in Tar. <laughs> quotes? Some yeah, great quotes. Great quotes. You should in post Tar. them on Instagram. Yeah, you I should. I know how much you love that. I love quotes on Instagram. It's so cool and different. Here we go. <laughs> it's inspiring. Time for Joel Diamond. Suck on my lollipop, baby. Oh, we had Dasher in for Joel Jive last week. And no, no pressure. This week is just the two of you. Boring. Yep, can't wait. Um, Take on my girl, Joel. Sean, yeah, Ricky <laughs> is playing for Bring it today. on, you Biden loving bitch. Hey, Sean. <laughs> Bye, it's done. Hi, Sean. Sean. Hey, Sean. And then we've also got Dana. Off to a good start. Or is it Daniel? I don't know. Dana, hello. Or was it Dana? Good. Uh, it's Dana. Here you go. Uh, Dana, are you it's serious? Da- oh, uh, what are we like? Why wouldn't it be Dana? Okay, anyway, um, we have invites to Angus and Julia Stone's beautiful sixth <laughs> album, Cape Forest Year. They're performing. Not invites to their album, but invites to the Red Room. Um, it's out now. We have flights to the Comet Overlo Woolloomooloo as well, potentially, if we need Ooh, to fly you in. Very nice. Let's do this, though. Angus and Julia Stone are more than just friends. <laughs> They're brothers and sisters. <laughs> oh. And we are celebrating friends today on Joel Jarvin because it is beautiful. World Friendship Day. Is it? it is. And I just Aww. wanted to take this opportunity to say I love you guys. Aww, yeah, I was going to do the guys. same. You I know? really, really like you both. Oh. You're <laughs> no, I love you both so much. You big, beautiful girls. I know you have to say it because I make did. You, you just missed it. That you I love us? It. You yeah. Say it. Say, it. It. say it while we're looking Dan at you in the eyes. Play it. I love you guys. Yeah, and we love I you. You're one of the great. You're one of the great it. natural beauties. Say it. Say it. Say I've it. said it twice now. That's <laughs> no, enough. I, I didn't hear you. Stop it. Okay. Stop it. Um, <laughs> can I just take? Well, I just want to take this chance on World Friendship Day to just to remind you, Ricky, that you are so beautiful. Thanks. Yeah. Like just it's stunning. <sighs> oh, thanks. Stunning. Like every uh, every stop. day I walk Please into stop. the office. It Please takes my stop. breath away. No, oh, it no. takes your breath away how much I don't look <laughs> like my album cover. <laughs> like your video clip. <laughs> no! What did, no, what did, no, Al- no, what did no. Alfie, my son, say to you? He said, oh, my gosh, I can't believe I saw Ricky with that makeup. <laughs> <laughs> you look and beautiful I without my pajamas makeup. In your well. pajamas at home. He loved that day. Anyway, here we go. Um, Ricky, you won the toss. It is first to three. I play part of a song. You need to sing the next line. No points for spoken words. It's Friendship Gay Day, not Friendship Gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your gay friend. <laughs> it's Friendship Gay tomorrow. It's like you're always Let's go. In second gear. When it hasn't been your day, your week, your month, or even your year. Cause I'll be there for you when the rain starts to fall. <gasps> what? 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 Wow. Is that not it? Okay, let's God. see how Joel does it. And then I'll make my decision. Oh, God. It's I, like I, I, I thought oh, she had a right. Oh, oh my God, how is that not the worst? I, 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 I'm going to sing the same thing. Yeah. I'll be there for you. <laughs> I've started way too. When the rain starts to call. Damn. You're both oh, wrong. What is it? It's rain pour. starts to pour. Oh, no. 
No. Awful. It sounds the same whenever, oh, wherever. Oh, no, this is like Shakira all over again. Oh, no, you just got it wrong. Okay, here we go. Um, Joel, you're next. Ooh, yes, that's hello. a tough start. False start there. With some own balls of you. Damn. I'm just gonna, I'll be <laughs> over here taping up my ankle. <laughs> Don't. She gets the twisties sometimes, Simone, and doesn't want to flip. I might get that. Yep. You never know. Oh, have you got tickets to Lamania right now? Are you pulling out your eyebrow hairs? Me? Yeah, no, my nervous? hair is just so awful because I wore a hard hat earlier. Why were you wearing a hard hat? <laughs> I was on a construction site. Oh, you were, you were, you were um, Mr. Construction. You've got mm-hmm. Ticket Teller Mania. Is it Ticket Terry Mania? Ticket Terry Cola. Ticket Terry Cola. You'll love this. This is a song about friendship. You ready for this? This is for you, Joel. Yeah, I'm ready. Well, I don't know. <gasps> oh, I believe that's, that's true. From Wicked. Oh my but God. I know I'm who I am today, today because I knew I, which part? Though? I hope oh my you God. know these words because I don't. Like a ship blown from its mooring. <gasps> no, which one? This, this. Okay, can give okay, me another comet. chance. You're like a comet. <laughs> yeah. Like a comet, a pool from orbit as it passes the sun. Like a stream that meets a boulder halfway through the wood. Like it doesn't even rhyme, but yes, you're right. Can say, okay, that's enough. I've been changed. Like this is one of my funeral songs. Oh my god, you're so Mi- more. This is Ricky Lee and M. M. Ricky Lee and M. Rosciano are going to sing this as my what coffee comes how down. About the for, how about this for a lyric? As it passes the sun, like a stream that meets a boulder halfway through the wood. Pardon? What? Two sex? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, beautiful. That but you sung that beautifully, Joel. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ricky Lee. Yes. You did. Mm, really First trying. time I want to like, pull my ears heart. off my face. <laughs> <laughs> Van Gogh style. <laughs> oh, it's very topical at the moment. Uh, I know. Love it. Okay. I love it, mate. Where did Van Gogh? <laughs> <laughs> that made me laugh so much. Where did Van Gogh? Where did Van Gogh? He's cut his ear off. What? Oh, okay, God. here we go. He this is therapy. World Friendship Day. Over to you, Ricky. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna really, really, really wanna sing and sing. Ah, if you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. Friends. Make it last forever. Friendship never ends. Yeah. Yes. Very gay song when you think about it. Yeah, you got to get be my with love, my you friends. Get with my friends. All my friends are hooked up. Does that just mean like you got to get along with my friends? Does that mean? Oh, I thought it yeah. meant like you, gotta you hook up got with to my give. friends. Give, 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 you give. You have got give, to give. give. Okay, here Take we go. Taking is too easy. Joel, okay? you're next. This is for two points. Steve Bradbury style. This could be two a, a, points. This is for the second point. Okay, yeah, that's how it works. We go you up. You said this is two up, points. This is for t- for two points. For my second okay. point. Just concentrate on getting the Rembrandt's words right and stuff and not worrying about what I say. <laughs> when the rain starts to fall, idiot. <laughs> want no, no, I don't want to give you mine and no. As if it was full. No, I don't want no. And no, I don't want no scrubs. Scrubs is the guy that can't get no love from me. Hanging on the passenger side of his best friend's ride, trying to holler at me. Nice. Beautiful job. I mean, I'm it's surprised scrub. that you know that song. Yes, there was an what? S on the end of Scrubs. It was, no, scru- it? It's scrub singular, it was incorrect. but I will give it to you. Because you Thank said you. the word. You're being so kind. Because you have to face me in person tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Gosh, I'm not prepared for You're that. You're going to want to pull your ears off your face then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to talk to you in any of the songs or any of the ad breaks. It's going to be very professional. Okay. That'll be fun. Yeah. Because, okay. you know, I, I, I can really bite my tongue. <laughs> this is for your second point. Is that okay? You um, said it was for two points. That's what you said before. You said, saying, oh, you said rain starts to fall. You said this fall. is for two points. <laughs> oh, you're going to want to pull your ears off with me. Okay. But the Rembrandts are on the line. I know. It's hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we go. God, you're a real stickler for lyrics today. I'm a real oh. stickler for lyrics. You love a lyric. Go, <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, you ladies, leave your man at home. The club is full of ballers and their pockets full grown. And if you... Oh, okay, stop, just stop. Okay. Just stop. No, stop, because I want you to have it, because I don't know. That's right. Okay. Now this is for the win, Joel. Come on, Joel. I haven't had a win for a while. You will get this 
so easily, but I is need this, another I wicked need, song. <laughs> I need this word perfect, okay? And I mean it. Okay. I'm a stickler okay, for the lyrics. Okay, okay. I'm a lyric stickler. You're real okay. horny for the lyrics today. Yes. Yeah, so. Stickler fluoride. Stickler fluoride. Yeah, I marry the lyrics. For the Seinfeld fans. Here we go. This is for you, Joel, for the win. Oh, it's your girl. We'll still have each other. You can stand under my umbrella. You can stand under my umbrella. Ella, Ella, eh, 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 under my umbrella. Ella, Ella, eh, 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 under my umbrella. Eh, 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 under my umbrella. Oh, no, you see. No, I've done heaps. You let Ricky do like two words sometimes. No, but see, you went under my umbrella. It's actually Ella, Ella, eh, 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 but you went eh, 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 Ella, Ella. You mucked up that last bit. Mm, let's go to the action replay, please. Well, no Look, thanks. I can slide in. I can bribery this if you want. No. Are we able to give both whatever their names are um, <laughs> invites? Okay, well, then I'll give I'll give Ricky a shot. Okay. Oh, are you really? Oh. I mean I it. You, I'm not, I'm not just lyrics. saying I'm You're a stickler for lyrics. Oh, now look. And you can stand under my umbrella. You can stand under my umbrella. Ella, Ella, eh, 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 under my umbrella. Ella, Ella, eh, 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 under my umbrella. Ella, Ella, eh, eh. Yes, oh, we well, yes. didn't say what they were before. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty repetitive that song. Um, congratulations, you two. Lucky ducks. Are you both going to see Agnes and Julia Stone in Nova's Red Room? Well done. Thanks, Ricky. No worries. Enjoy, guys. No, you, we, you can go too. It's, it's well done, uh, Dana. Dana. <laughs> you have a nice time off working, and okay, we will see you. Soon. The boys. The boys show yeah, tomorrow. Boys. Oh, my God. The testosterone. Get out the Lynx Africa. <laughs> 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 <laughs>